Welcome to Creative Software. This video is part of our Building the Future series. The success of your career doesn't start at the entrance to the industry, but much earlier, even before O-levels. That is why we've created these series to help students, and parents for that matter, identify the field of studies that is right for them, as well as develop skills and mindset to excel at it. Enjoy. So as I mentioned earlier in this video series, in addition to giving the broad frameworks, uh, we will also give you some tips on uh, certain aspects of learning. So I'm going to give you three trips which will really help you understand and learn better. Uh, well, first, uh, you know, um, when we are trying to read an article or read a book or something and understand uh, some concepts, right, after you felt as if you read it enough or understood well, you know, one strategy would be to close the book completely and then uh, write to it on your word, own words, not just think it, but write it in your own words, what you just learned. And then if you're hesitating, that means that particular place is something that you need to look at more and get a deeper understanding. So a simple strategy, just close your book after you uh, learned it and then write it in your own words. Uh, some others say that try to teach it to somebody else. It's the same thing. By doing that, right, you are actually making sure that you have learned it well. Now the next uh, strategy that I would recommend is once you uh, learn something, for example, um, uh, uh, suppose you want to, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, study for your uh, math test or say on calculus, uh, which is going to come up in two or three days. So suppose you learned a certain technique, right? And then uh, one way of making sure that you learn is to take a practice test. Now there are quite a bit because we live in, in an online era. And if you go to the web, there are, if you just uh, uh, search for a particular topic, you will find plenty of practice tests. So when you take a practice test online, it gives you a, uh, a much better opportunity to test your knowledge before the actual examination or test. So the third uh, thing I'm going to explain is a way that students have uh, discovered and instructors have discovered to visualize concepts and make connections. Uh, so I'm going to teach you about a tool that uh, you can actually, once you learn something, you can bring the concepts together and visualize them using the connections. It's called a concept map and there are plenty of resources online. I'll just give you a simple example of a concept map. Suppose you learned about solar system and then you want to uh, get the concepts together and the connections. So you start with a basic concept like say uh, and then you ask yourself what's in it? Well, we have the sun and the moon, the planets. So we put another concept called sun and we have planets. And we can say, well, now we need to connect this. So sun, so solar system includes, right? Okay, so includes. So we put this, these are called propositions. These are the connections, right? And then planets are also part of the includes. And then on the other hand, planets actually orbit the sun. So we can say orbits here. And then we have examples of planets, right? We have Earth, right? And then Mars and Jupiter. So Earth, Earth, then Mars, Jupiter, and they are all members of the planet. And we can go on, so on like that. We can bring concepts together, and in the end, we have a very good picture of the solar system that we learned. And this is an example of a concept map. 